Hi all, welcome to another art video. Today I want to show you how I painted these tree leaves. I'll be painting five types of tree, tree leaves. Oh and I also got my coffee ready. And it's almost 11 in the night and coffee is the last thing I should be taking right now. But I've been addicted to coffee lately. By the time I record this video, I was trying to finish up the activity book that is based on my children's book called Happy Little Pine. So these sketches are done for the activity book, which is completely free by the way. It has 10 pages and 12 different fun activities for kids. Uh, if you want to check that out, uh, you can go to my website. The URL is in the first comment in the comment section and then go to that URL and then go to giveaways and sign up to my monthly newsletter. Then you will get the activity book delivered right to your email. Alright, so back to the video. I started off with a pretty basic sketch that anybody can easily recreate. Painting leaves is really fun. In case you guys haven't tried that, you really should. It's very relaxing. So I really enjoyed doing this project. So to paint this, you can also use oil pastels. I say that because I know that a lot of you guys out there who are subscribers to my channel are mostly are mostly um, interested in oil pastels. So you don't have to use water-based mediums. You can use oil pastels. The reason why I'm using water-based medium is because that way I can use my brush to paint some of these fine little details. It'll be so much easier using a brush. So as I go on, I keep adding on to the basic sketch because these little leaves in a pine tree, pine tree branch, they don't all grow in one direction. They grow around the stem in all directions. You kind of have to capture that effect. So I added leaves that spread out in all directions. So this is how it looks. Close enough. Right, so then let's move on to the oak tree leaf. If you're living in my home country, which is Sri Lanka, these trees are not very popular. It's not really a tropical South Asian tree. But in Sri Lanka, we have an area in the country called the hill country. It's called that because it's way above sea level and surrounded by mountains. So the weather is extremely cold over there comparatively to the other areas and I have seen oak trees grow in those areas. If you are in Sri Lanka you can go to Nuvare Elia and you can find these trees there. I think the last time I visited the Hagala Botanical Gardens in Nuvare Elia I saw an oak tree. So it has leaves just like this one. I happen to like these leaves a lot and they are not red when they are young. They are they're green just like most tropical plants but as they age they become progressively yellow and red and then they just fall off. So that's about oak tree leaf and then we are moving on to maple leaf. This is also not a very popular variety of uh, trees that grow in my country. But these leaves appear almost everywhere in books and fairy tales, especially when talking about the autumn season, because these leaves are so beautiful. They have a very beautiful, unique shape and also wonderfully bright range of colors. So naturally they get a lot of attention. And then I'm moving on to two very popular tropical plants, the jack tree and the banana tree. So starting with the, with the jack leaf, if you don't know what a jack tree leaf look like, here's one. Uh, they are one of the most popular trees where I live and kids are taught about them pretty much from preschool. Because these trees are so useful. Their fruits, the plank, the leaves and pretty much everything about these trees are used for something or the other. So if you have a big enough garden around your house, it's really hard to find a house that doesn't grow one of these trees. 
and then finally we have the banana leaf um, once again this is a very popular tree where I live they are grown in home gardens as well as industrially and bananas are heavily cultivated where I live Alright, so this is how all five types of leaves look like and the activity is actually uh, allowing kids to identify the leaf and connect it with the tree. So as I said before, this is part of an activity book. If you want to check that out, just go to my website and then sign up to my monthly newsletter. Then I will email you the activity book. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and also please remember to click the bell icon that way whenever i post a new video you'll get a notification thanks for watching this video and i'll see you next time with more art videos bye bye